Hey what's up guys, today I wanted to show you a little feature from NVIDIA that they just came out with. Uh, it is only available to NVIDIA users sadly. Uh, it is called NVIDIA Freestyle and what it basically is is a color correction tool or think of it as like an Instagram filter. It basically adjusts your colors, your sharpness and anything else you really want and it could really pop make your colors pop in game and make it look nice and sharp and you could even which is very good about this is you could even see shadows very well like it's shadows like for example right here will look very nice and you could see enemies way easier and for example also like on dust 2 on tunnels you could see a lot um is a big difference it's a lot brighter so let me show you the difference so this is with the NVIDIA freestyle, uh, freestyle on, and if you go here and turn it off, it is way big difference. You can notice it. The colors are very washed out compared to this one. They're not that sharp, and it's not that, it just doesn't look as nice. So let me show you guys how to install this and get it set up. So what you first want to do is make sure you have the latest GeForce experience installed. And to do that, you should go to settings right here, and then go to general, and then and make sure this is enabled, which is enable experimental features. And it should, if it works properly, make you install the latest GeForce experience. But if it doesn't, which what which happened in my case is when I ticked it, it it just said check checking for updates checking for updates and it would just keep loading and never stop so in case that happens i'll leave a link in the description which leads to a link to the latest geforce experience beta and this will make sure freestyle freestyle works and make sure you first you uninstall geforce experience and then you install this and you'll have the latest version so once you have the latest version of geforce experience installed and you have this option checked then you will want to go to drivers and make sure you have the latest driver for your graphics card installed. It should say NVIDIA Freestyle right here and this is the latest driver that includes this in this update. So that's pretty much it for the installation. So just open up your uh, CS and I'll show you the settings right now. So once you guys have it installed and ready to go, all you have to do is hop in a, in a game and press alt z which is the regular key bind that's uh, default in geforce experience so press that and it should show you a menu with game filter and just press that and you'll have a list of styles you could choose from just press whatever and you have a menu of different settings here so what you want to do is add contrast color and details so for contrast I set my gamma to 57.5 and the contrast is 60. And for color, this is very, um, it's just a preference of the user. I left mine at 75 because I think 100 is too saturated and 50 is just really washed out and there's no colors in the game. So 75 is a perfect match. And color enhancer I left at zero. And details, this is the most important setting. So sharpness, I would leave it at 35 if you um, if you care about the way your game looks. If you don't and you want the max competitive advantage, you could, as you see, as you increase it, the shadows um, diminish and you can see way more in the shadows. So if you don't care, uh, put it at 100. But I left mine at like 40. It, it, like 30, 35 to 40 is like the range you should keep it at. Clarity, I love that at 60 and the HDR toning. This is the most important setting that you want to control uh, Put that to max and as you see it does affect the, the um, shadows the most and then bloom I put the zero As you can see it does really make a difference in your game It does make it a lot sharper and I noticed that when I play with the NVIDIA Freestyle on during games, I tend to focus a lot more be on enemies and stuff and react quicker because everything is like much sharper. And I, I don't know, maybe it's just a placebo, but I feel like it does actually help a bit in your gameplay too. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you. I do find this a bit kind of like cheating because you do see through sh like see shadows. And with the right settings, I've heard that some people actually can see through smoke, like see the edges of players in smoke. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.